Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, it's going to be a really short lesson. We're just going to go over how to read off measurements. Now, Kevin, what are you even talking about, my bro? Well, what I mean is like, if you are given something like this, you need to be able to know how to read off this value, for example, and we're also going to do this value. And then in the rest of the lesson, we're going to do a few more like this, um, like that. And yeah, I think we've got a few more examples after that. So what you do is you've got to try to figure out what does each of these little spaces represent. So if this is zero and this is 500, then this one would be 100. This one would be 200, 300, 400, and then it gets to 500. Sometimes you're not going to get that the first time. Sometimes you might think, um, sometimes it's more difficult. So you might say, uh, is this one maybe 50? Then that would make this one 100. And then this one would be 150, 200. But then this would be 250, but it's supposed to be 500. So that doesn't work. Another thing is that whatever space you choose, you have to keep it like that. So if you make this one 100, then this one has to be 200, so that the jump is 100 every single time, okay? What you don't want to do is make this one a 50, and then this one is 150. That doesn't make sense, because then this distance here is 50, and this distance is 100, so it's not equal, okay? So what we said was, what worked out perfectly was that this is 200, 300, 400 and 500. Now, this would be 600, 700, 800. And then can you see that this gray line is in the middle? Can you see it's in the middle? So 900 would be here. So then in the middle, you would have 850 because 850 is in between. 800 and 900. Now, some of you might be like, yeah, but then why? What's going on here? Well, we're going to get into conversions in a few more lessons, but you might already know that one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. And so this is actually 1,000. And so it all makes sense if we're thinking about grams. So to answer the question, the gray parts would be 300. So 300 grams whoops, let's write that a bit better, 300 grams, and then 850 grams. So with this one, we can see that it starts at 30 and then goes to 40. Okay, so you don't have to go look at anything else. Just between 30 and 40, you can try to figure out what these should be. So you might start off, maybe you think it's 31, then this would have to be 32, so that you're keeping the same distance, 33, 34, but then this would be 35, but it's supposed to be 40. Okay, so we did that one, not that, that wasn't correct. So maybe 32, let's try 32, then this would be 34, because if you go up in twos, then you have to keep it going up in twos. So this would be 36, this would then be 38, and there's 40. Okay, so we, we've got the right distance, or the right jump, it's two. We have to go up by two every single time. So that means this would be 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. And then 52, 54. 54 is the reading that they want us to find. Okay. And they haven't told us whether this is kilometers or grams or whatever. So we just say 54. So this one's quite interesting. So a little bit more challenging because here's five and here's six. So what are we going to do? Well, now we're going to have to use decimals. So maybe... This would be 5.1, 5.2. Now, I'm not saying this is correct. Then this would be 5.3, but then this would be 5.4, but it's supposed to be 6, so that's not correct. Okay, so maybe it's going to be 5.2, so we're going up by 0 0.2. Then this would have to be 5.4. This would be 5.6, but then this would have to be 5.8. Okay, that didn't work. So maybe this is 5.3, 5.6. 5.9, oh, but then this would have to be 6.2, so that doesn't work. So what are we going to do? Because we went up by 0.2s, that was too small. Then we went up by 0 
and that was too big. But now you need to think of this as 20 and this is 30. So then what is in between? What number is in between 20 and 30? Well, that would be 25. So we can go up in 0.25s. So that means this would be 5.25. This would be 5.50. This would be 5.75. And the next one, if you go up, if you increase this by 25, it would go to zero, but then this would go to six. So that would be this number over here. And so that works out perfectly. So the answer for this one is gonna be 5.75. Two more examples. We've got this one, and then we're gonna do this one. Okay, so it says the, determine the reading on the gray bars. So. Here's the first line. Okay, so let's try uh, let's try 0 0.1. You know, maybe we're in a test and we just have no idea. Then this would be 0 0.2. Now, I'm not saying that this is correct, but we need to figure it out. So this is 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Okay, so it didn't get us close. All right. So we can try to we can try to double everything. So we could say 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Now after 0 0.8 comes 1. And then 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6. Ah, oh, that's also not working. Okay, so we could maybe try 0 0.3, but that wouldn't work because it's, yeah, 0 0.3 would not go up to 2. So let's try 0 0.25 again. So 0 0.25, 0 0.5. 0 0.75, 1, 1.25, 1 1.5, ah, 1.75, and 2. Ah, there we go. So it's going up in 0 0.25. So you can think of this as 50 if you want. Uh, you can think of this as 1.00. You could think of that as 50, and you can think of that as 2.00. Okay, so now we can get the answers. This one would be 0 0.25 centimeters, and this one would be 1 centimeter. Here's our last example. Ooh, this one looks interesting. Okay, so what we have is, I know they've got it really weirdly drawn here, or like with the way they they they, they um, put the numbers down, but these longer lines, can you see that's a longer line? It stops over there. See, longer lines. Those are gonna be the 250, the 300, and the 350. Then, in between those longer lines, there are four lines that go up to there. Can you see them? And then in between those, there are little lines that go up to there. Okay. Let's just quickly also do this. So what we have, let me just draw this out for you. We've got 250. We've got 300. And then we've got... 350. Now, those are all at the end of the longer red lines. Okay, that's what it that's what it would look like if they did it perfectly, where they draw it like that. But because it's a circular kind of thing, yeah, it looks a bit different. Then in between those, we've got four green lines. So it's gonna go there, there. Oh, that's not gonna be evenly spaced. Whoops. Okay, I won't get the spacing perfect. And then in between those we've got a purple. Okay, and that's more easy than it looks. I know it looks pretty complicated. So all that happens is that to go from 250 to 300, let's first look at the green ones, okay? So if this is 260, I'm not saying this is correct. This would be 270, this would be 280, this would be 290, ah, and then this would be 300. Okay, so that works out perfectly. So the green ones are spaced 10 apart, so this would be 310, 320, 330, 340. Okay, so we're not looking at the purple yet. This would then be 360, 370, 380, 390. Now, if you look at the purple, here we're going, for this jump here, you're going from 250 to some number, and then to 260. So this number would be exactly in the middle, so it'll be 250, five and then this number would be 265 
275. So you understand that that's what the little ones are doing. So they want us to go read off these values now. So if we're to read off this arrow here, which is pointing to this line here, then it's on that purple one. It's on this one over here. So that would be 255, 255. Okay, now if we look at B, B is pointing to this line here, which if we go around is over there. So it's not on the red line. So there's 300 over there. And we are on this green line over here. So we know that each green one is 10. So this would be 310. And then this would be 320. So this would be 320 over here. And now this last one for A is on that red line. Can you see that? It's on that red line. And so that would be 350.